Well, there's a brief break in the rain. So I'm walking into town. Maybe get some beer for the first time in a while. Oh, look at that. This is a trumpa mushroom. Uh, this is a really nice mushroom, actually. Yeah, I'll put it here in the trail so I notice it on the way back. There's another one next to it. This is uh, actually a racilla mushroom that has been infected by hypomyces, which is the orange part. So normally this is a white mushroom, and it's been infected by orange hypomyces. And these are called trumpas, or they're called... Uh, these aren't lobster mushrooms, are they? I don't know, but they're very thick. They're very meaty. This one's in pretty good shape. That's totally edible. And uh, this is uh, mushroom season right now. It's coming a little late this year because the rains came late. And uh, I've cataloged all the kinds of mushrooms around here. I have a spreadsheet of like hundreds. And I actually had a mushroom expert up here who wrote the literal book on it before she died. Uh, and she came and uh, we collected tons of mushrooms for her and laid them out on the table and she identified them. It was really pretty cool. But that's not what's on my mind right now. So my mind, as I get a walk in, because I haven't walked because it's been so rainy for like three days. Look at this, the trail's all grown over here, making my feet wet. Uh, what's on my mind is that there's a black dog. Hi, black dog. Uh, that's not really my dog, but I've been feeding it and it hangs around. It won't even let me pet it. What's bad is that I'm missing uh, what has become my best friend. My littlest dog. And she's not inside. She likes to be inside on cold days. She goes outside, comes back inside. And she's not outside where she's supposed to be. And I noticed today on the porch there's blood. And I checked all the dogs that were there and nobody has blood on them. Nobody's got any injuries. And I got a missing tiny dog. Normally these dogs get along just fine, but on rare occasions, uh, one of them, the youngest one, has attacked the smallest one. Just briefly, you know, over like a dispute about the ownership of a bone or something. And it's, uh, it's not uh, just a brief bark and a correction of like, that's mine, leave it alone, but... You know, it's an attack that causes squeaking and hasn't caused any injuries in the past. Now, I've been there today. This would have happened today, this morning. If, if, uh, hard to even think about it, but if the little dog got attacked and that dog ain't made a much, so it would probably get killed real easy. I didn't really go looking around for a body or anything. My only hope is, because I'm missing one of my other dogs, a bigger one, that that dog is off and that it doesn't seem real likely, but maybe my little dog followed the big dog on an adventure they like to go on. And that's the direction I'm headed right now. So maybe I'll run into to them that would be really nice because this dog has been a medicine dog for me after I got injured real bad and uh, finally got back home after eight months it took me eight months to get back home I was that injured and my life here is not an easy one it's not a life that is easy to survive so I couldn't come home. It's a bad aspect of living alone at tremendous risks surrounding me all the time. I'm sure if I publish this, some asshole's gonna say, well, how could you let your dog live there? Blah, blah, blah. Fuck you, motherfucker. Shut the fuck up.
That's my thought on that. Not you personally. But if you are one of those people, then that is the sentiment I have for you. My dogs live, lead a great life. Sometimes that life leads to death, as it does for all of us. And, uh, yeah, I'd love to put up some fencing. And in this case, though, because the fencing would help everything be more secure. But uh, I don't have resources for that. And in this particular case, it wouldn't have changed anything. Because uh, if my little dog was damaged, it was my own dogs that did it. So the fencing would not have separated them. Up there's the potential culprit. I didn't see any blood on her face. I'm really hoping that what I'm saying is not true. I mean, I've accepted death. I've accepted the death of civilization. I've accepted the possible extinction of the human race uh, and all life on the planet. Perhaps not all life. Some people just can't imagine that, but it could happen. We haven't run into any other life in our solar system. Life's pretty rare and fragile as far as I can tell. And we're doing everything we can to screw it up. We're screwing up our own lives. We're killing off as much as we can. God, it's slippery as shit out here. So that dog is dead. I'm gonna be a pretty sad dude. Uh, that little dog has been with me for about four years now. And she's still the cutest little puppy. She's, uh, you know, small, so she's faster, more hyper aware. She's an important part of my pack. And she's really an important part of my life. I can't imagine not having her now. And she wasn't a yappy little bitch either. See, I just referred to her in the past tense. That is not a good sign. But she's never missing. Like, sometimes she'll go play for like 20 minutes or something, you know? And then she'll show back up. But the blood on the porch is what's really bugging me. And it's cold and rainy out. This is not the kind of day where she goes off prancing around the forest, which she shouldn't do anyway because there's rattlesnakes around. It's unlikely a rattlesnake got her because then there wouldn't be blood on the porch. But that's my other fear because I just saw a rattlesnake the other day and I didn't even kill it because I didn't feel like it. I don't like killing rattlesnakes and I didn't have the right tools on me to, to capture it. God damn it. Fucking shoelaces untied. These shoelaces I bought were shit. I did buy new shoelaces, I just haven't put them on there yet. Oh man, this new, my new shoe, my new fancy tennis shoe is busting apart. I swear I wear out shoes. Normally I walk very far on very difficult terrain so my shoes don't last very long i need some like a strong pair of boots for this time of the year other times of the year i just wear sandals i wear tevez or chacos those are great brands and uh, then you don't have to have socks or anything your feet can breathe but this time of year everything's slippery and cold and i need a pair of fucking boots i need a pair of boots made nearby I don't like buying foreign products. I want to buy ones in the country I live in. So. Uh, so that's all I got. Hope that I'm wrong. And that uh, the two missing dogs are together. That's not a very happy video. Sorry about that. It's not always happy.